Here we have verse 12 of the 16th chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus has just delineated to the disciples the great potency that is going to be given to them through the parakletos, as he will convict through their words, the world of sin and righteousness and judgment. We can imagine that there was a great deal more that Jesus could say on the topic, and certainly the disciples, although they were probably ha finding their heads swimming with all that he had said to them already, uh, would have been interested in that information, but uh, hardly able to, uh, to yeah, absorb it at this point. And so we find Jesus saying, not surprisingly, uh, eti, uh, this is an indeclinable adverb, it means yet, and then pola. This is from polus pole, pola, it means uh, many, many things. This is in the uh, accusative, uh, plural, neuter. So many things, used substantively here, so yet many things, echo, simple verb, I have, uh, first person singular, present active indicative, so yet many things I have, and then the um, indirect object here, who men, second person, dative, plural, pronoun, so yet many things I have, legain, from lego, I say, this is the present infinitive, so I have many things to say uh, to you, uh, putting that phrase together, and then the strong conjunction, all, short for Allah, which uh, stands in contrast, saying that uh, at this point, u, the negation, dunas thai. From dunamai, I am able, this is the second person plural, present active indicative, so you are not able is the idea. I'd like to say these things to you, but at this point you're not able. Bastadzain, again an infinitive, the present infinitive of bastadzo, uh, which means to bear. Uh, you may know the normal word in Greek for bearing something as pharaoh, as in ferrying. Uh, we get that word from it. Uh, and that is used by far the most commonly, but sometimes the word uh, of bearing or carrying has the notion of a, a heavy burden. Uh, in fact, this is the very word that's used to describe Jesus bearing his cross later when John will describe that in his gospel. Same thing here, so Bastad saying, you are not able to bear it, the, the burden is too heavy. Uh, for you. And then the indeclinable adverb, RT, now. You can't bear it now. You will be able to bear it later, and in the context we can infer that what he means is when the parakletos arrives, that that's going to give them the strength to bear all of the additional truth to which they're going to be exposed, and certainly the rest of this text is going to uh, suggest that that's exactly what Jesus has in mind here. So he's told them as much as they can stand for the moment. Uh, there's going to be more that will be disclosed to them, but that's going to come at a later time, uh, distinctively through the work of the Parakletos, whom Jesus will call in the succeeding statements here, the spirit of truth, the spirit of that rich disclosure of those things that they uh, have further need of understanding.